because I'm already ordering for the third time today and I really I really messed up this uh, ordering process on JLC. So how to order a board on JLC PCB with keycard? Not easy, but I will explain. So first I go to my project, which is this TMC2209 development board. I have hardware version 102, whatever. And first I delete the content of my production folder. I, there is no production folder. Um, you have to uh, create this folder yourself. Um, then you start your project. Then I go to my project, this one. Then I open my PCB. So now we have this PCB. This is a, an Arduino shield for a TMC2209 uh, stepper motor driver, just to test everything out, Every, uh, all pins connected. And I just changed uh, from version 1.0 to 1.2. Um, that we now have this uh, NEMA 17 connector and what else did I change? Oh, well, here was an error. So I just changed this. Oh, actually, let me check this could be a bit. This should be here, right? Okay. Hopefully now everything works out. I just checked before everything in the 3D view, but I think this looks great. Check out this component, right? So the dot on this package is on the top right or top left corner of the component on the top right corner of the placement file from this perspective. Okay. Um, now that everything is checked and that I know that I didn't miss up, uh, didn't mix up any components. Um, I see this component should not be placed, but it is this component. This component is actually exclude from position file and bill of materials, right? Okay doesn't work somehow I don't know why same on the schematic this component is crossed out so this is do not populate <laughs> anyway so now I will go to file go to plot go to plot then uh, select all my parameters usually it's only a couple play uh, the, uh, the copper layers the uh, mask silk screen paste um, edge cuts in my case and six so yeah um, this should be in the production folder I already changed that um, yes usually these parameters work for JLC PCB um, then I generate drill files very important um, this should also work with, with everything millimeters generate drill file this is really fast then I in this window do plot yes works close Okay, fine. So now we have everything. We have the uh, for the um, PCB manufacturing. Now what we still need is uh, the SMT assembly. So the board is, you can order the board basically like this, um, but I still need the comp uh, component placement files. So the component placement files I generate with fabrication outputs and then component placement files. This file basically tells the pick and place machine later where to place which component. And I do this with this little tool from, from KeyCard. Uh, same, I put it in the production, production folder. Um, now I press generate position files. Everything is done, perfect. Perfect, now we can close the PCB editing window. Um, yeah, I did some changes, anyway. Now I go to my schematic again. And here you have to generate the bill of materials, the bomb. And to generate that, you have to download a small script from JLC PCB, generate bomb, um, and import it into KeyCut. So you have to download this tiny script, put it in the KeyCut um, script thing tool, um, and you can get it from JLC PCB. I put a link in the description. But when you install the script and everything works, you can just press generate bomb. And this is actually, these are three scripts, and the last one is the one that works. Um, it's somewhere in my downloads folder, whatever, it's a bit complicated. But if you have installed this script, now I press generate on this script, and this uh, script generates basically the bill of materials. So I get the part numbers that I assigned before in the in uh, in the schematic editor, editor um, by adding a line here, LCSC, and then the part number from LCSC. So I can look all the part numbers up on jscpcb.com uh, slash parts, Library. So if I add component here, I get the component number for the TMC2209. But I can also search for 0806 resistor 1K or something. 
and then I get all the components I can use. And then just copy this number, put it in the here, and then uh, when I export the bill of materials, this part number gets assigned to uh, the component, in this case the uh, U1, and then JICPCB knows where to put the component. So now that I have exported all these files or generated all these files, I can close this and I can also close this. Go to my finder. Now I'm in the project folder. Then I go into the production folder and look for the devbot top position CSV. I open this with, oh, I open this with Sublime, for example. And you have to change this line. And this line you get from, I put it in the description, but you can get it from the internet or I can get it from a different project um, where I already ordered um, SV very popular project really cool you have to check it out <laughs> now I just copy this line I put it in the description but I copy this line to this file save it I still have to delete all the components I don't want to populate so in my case this is a DMC no, no, this is okay, okay okay usually connectors um, I don't populate because it's more expensive because it's through components and sometimes um, for example, these screw terminals or something, they are also components and get listed here. But this looks okay. Diode, diode. diode. Okay. Oh, yeah, this should work. So save, quit. Okay, now we are finished here. Um, all these files are generated from KiCad and the top position and the um, bottom position, which I don't have any components in. This is just uh, one component I don't upload because I don't only need one uh, single-sided uh, assembly. I don't care about this one. I only care about this one and the rest. So I compress this one. Now I have this as a zip. And then I open the, um, def uh, the, the uh, bill of materials I just generated, again with Sublime or something. And then I check again if I have some components I don't want to have populated. For example, the Arduino Uno is just a shield. I don't care about that because it can't be populated. Um, same for the mounting hole. You can populate mounting holes. Same for the connectors. I don't want them. Also not this one. Also not this one. Solder jumpers can also not be populated. So this looks pretty good in my opinion. And then I check there's R13. I don't want this. Right? I just... That this was a component I t ticked for not populate, but it somehow got exported. I don't know why, but you have to uh, delete them manually. So then I save everything, saved, okay. Then I just check really quick if all the parts have LCSC um, part numbers, which they do have, that's good. And then let me just really ch uh, check really quick if there's an R13 in this one, because it is not. So this is, interesting at least so it's not in the position file but it's in the uh, bill of materials so this seems to be a bug on keycard i don't know but anyway now i can continue with the ordering process i go to jlc pcb then i go to instant quote then i add gerber file in my case i'm already in the repo in the, the folder then i choose the then i select the production dot zip and wait a few seconds. Yes, 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 a few more seconds. Yeah, that looks good. Um, I like purple, so I choose purple. Although it takes two more days, but I'm on holiday, so it doesn't really matter. Um, I choose with lead because lead is easier to solder, um, but it's not ROHS compatible. But anyway, um, then I choose SMT assembly process. Then I just select the right assemble site which is in my case top site i could also assemble the bottom side um, check everything if everything is all right um, i think it is it is yes 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 i think the normal settings are usually fine for normal boards <laughs> so then press confirm this looks like a board i have in my keycard then i get to the magic component the, the smt assembly part um, so now i can upload the bomb Again, I'm in the right folder. Um, 
then select the bomb, which is the uh, devbot.csv. The bomb is always the, where you have the part numbers, the part numbers and the component placement file is the one that has, when I go into production, um, is the one with the orientations and the locations, right? So I select top position, yes, proce proceed, proce <laughs> process bomb and CPL. Everything is fine. That looks really good. I can still delete some components. For example, if I do if just found out that my TMC controllers are way too expensive for me, I can unselect them here or whatever. And you can always see um, if it's a basic part. So these are basically, uh, you only have to pay the, the basic part, uh, the, the, the component cost. But uh, for the extended parts, you always have to pay, I think three euros or one euro, uh, two euro 80 or something uh, for every part. Uh, for the extended component fee because they have to put the components uh, by themselves or by hand in the SMT machines or whatever so they charge you three euros for every component that is extended but all the rest is uh, for free or you only have to pay the component cost which is usually like only in the few cents or in this case the TMC is a bit more expensive but yeah then I press next and then the magic happens the board gets generated and this is where I made the mistake like the last two times. I forgot to flip this part because this one is always flipped 90 degrees. This only happens on some packages, but you have, I always have to check. So I select this part, press rotate right, and now it's correct. I just compare these two dots. This is on the PCB, this is on the JLC um, yeah, component part, whatever. And um, now I know that this part is in the right orientation. Same for diodes and yeah, LEDs, you should always check. This one is a TVS style, so this is a correct orientation. Same for this one. And the LED up here, same for this one. This is signal, this is resistor plus LED minus ground. Perfect. This looks also really nice. Um, let me really check really quick if this is right now. VIN is this line, yes, this looks good. External is, yes, cool. Same for capacitors, you don't want to put them in wrong polarity, but usually they're right. The only thing I had on STM32 controllers and on Atmega328 controllers and on these um, TMC2209 and TMC2208 controllers that, that, that they are always um, rotated like 90 degrees in the wrong direction. You can also change that in the, um, in the CPL file. So in the... Um, in this file you can also all change for example in this line you can also change this to i think it should be zero degrees or something but you can always uh, check and change this in this editor which is really cool and i think it's new so yes and from there um, the board is basically ready for assembly then i press next from there i can see the pricing um i think i have to select what it is i think it's other it's a or the step uh, motor or controller. That's okay. Um, save to card. Yeah, you can see again the extended parts fee, which was 14 euros only for the um, for the extended parts. So if I got rid of the uh, diodes, I think, and the TMC 2209, it would be less uh, expensive. But I need these parts, so it's still cheaper than to buy them uh, somewhere else and pay the shipping. So. Um, yeah, you always get the special offer. I don't know how they make money, but you always get the special offer. Same for SMT assembly process, it's always a um, special offer. Then you basically select the shipping stuff and pay uh, however you like. Usually I pay with credit card or with PayPal, but with PayPal you have to pay 50 cent extra. Um, or you have a discount usually you like always get these kind of disc discounts um, this one is because i cancelled or i got a refund from a past order because they messed up some components but um, yeah so usually you get like eight euros ten euros sometimes five euros i don't know um, like for i don't know smp special offer whatever this is and then i just enter my credentials uh, press pay and there we go then you have the jlc pcb assembly and bought manufacturing from KeyCut. So the process in general is not straightforward, but it makes sense if you have done it like 10 times, you know how it works. 
but you um, definitely have to think about everything like twice and three times so it's you if you go back for example in this uh, ordering process you sometimes lose some files then you have to re-upload then them then you don't know what version it is so every time you change something in your layout and you want to reorder it there is no way that you can just up, uh, re-upload the um, pick and place files or something you always have to reorder everything so it's kind of frustrating and annoying but so it is um yeah i hope this was useful to some people and if you have questions put them in the comments and if it helped you either like subscription bell ring or whatever um yeah bye thank you <laughs> i just found out that it's called sublime and not sublime <laughs> bye